All right, we want to get back to the big event. Tomorrow morning, a ton of confetti will rain down on Lower Manhattan celebrating the U.S. Women's World Cup champions. News for John Chandler there with how the winners spent the day and they were busy and they're in high demand. John? Yes, they were busy today. We saw most of these players coming and going from the hotel behind me here in Lower Manhattan. Busy uh, shopping, carrying heavy bags, and why not? What a good way to let off some of that steam after relieving some of those heavy expectations and winning, delivering another World Cup title. And tomorrow with the parade, they need to rest up because it's a big day. We got four stars on our chest. We got four the U.S. women's national team is taking this whole city that never sleeps thing to heart. Alex Morgan's Instagram story shows the World Cup celebration last night that yes, led into yes. an early morning media tour, including the, the Today Show. It took a lot. It took a lot of dedication, a lot of time, um, a lot of ups and downs along the way, but I think it's been absolutely worth every minute. Yeah. At 30 Rock, Samantha Mewis and Abby Dow Kemper made the bottle cap challenge look easy. One, One two, two, three. As if there was a doubt, all this team does is win and sign autographs. Lots of autographs. This is literally for my daughter. Jeffrey Reed collected signatures for his soccer-loving daughter. Well, the two watched well, every game together, uh, and he's already planning yeah, to catch the team's either, victory so tour in person. It's going to mean a lot of money over the next few years because they talk about getting uh, more pay. We're going to be investing in some soccer tickets, I can tell you. Equal pay is this team's rally cry. Fanatics says it sold more U.S. women's national team merchandise on Sunday alone than the whole month after the 2015 World Cup title. That ended with a Canyon of Heroes parade down Broadway. And the confetti is ready for this year's parade. The champs are too. Um, it's, it's just such a great um, thing to have, just to rally the nation behind you. We feel like we've been in kind of a little bit of a bubble over in France, so now we get to feel just the magnitude of the impact that we've had here. Now we saw Alex Morgan and teammate Megan Rapino head out onto the streets yet again, but I promise you most of this team's goal here today, get lots of rest because they're going to need it for tomorrow's parade. We're live in Lower Manhattan. I'm John Chandler, News 4 New York. Thank you for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can subscribe by tapping the button below me, and on the left you can see our latest updates, investigations, and digital exclusives. We'll see you next time.